Once upon a time, a genius idea was born. Make a ship that looks cool. And then make long lines of structure metal attached to individual ships. So when shot, the mini ships fly off. By God, it's genius. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman to bring you another episode of Cosmeteer. So as you can see, we got an awesome comment on the last video by Dylan. If you haven't seen the last video, check that out. We had a shipception thing going on with ships inside, ships inside, ships eating ships, eating ships, eating ships, and so on. I'll leave a link to all the Cosmeteer episodes down below. But today, we are going to be doing Dylan's comment, which is going to be interesting to try to figure out the best way to build it. And to be honest, I'm not going to do it the best way. I'm just going to do it my way, however that happens to be. Because uh, I'm not the best person at this game, I don't have that many hours in it, but I, I enjoy it. I have some fun. I, I just try to do ridiculous ideas and see see what ends up happening. So the idea is obviously to build uh, basically a network of ships that are all attached to each other, and as it gets into a battle, the the web of ships gets broken, so they become individual ships. Now, I don't know what the best way to go about doing that is, but I have some ideas on things that might be cool to try. And I don't really know what to use for the ship designs themselves, but we're just going to see what happens in this episode. And uh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be fun either way. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need the mothership, which is kind of like the big ship that's going to carry all the other ships. Now, I did a little bit of experimenting before recording just to see. I didn't know how guns would interact or behave if there was uh, structure in front of them blocking their... Uh, range of fire. I didn't know if they were gonna shoot the structure to get to the enemy or if they were just gonna be dead guns that weren't gonna do anything. And it turns out that they are dead guns that do not do anything. Which is actually kind of an interesting idea because if I build a ship here but then block a lot of the weapons from the mothership by making structures connected to mini ships, that means that the mini ships will be the primary source of fire until the enemy actually breaks into the structure and opens up the mothership. So it's almost like you don't want to shoot the wrong areas because then you're just going to open up the boss battle where the mothership starts unloading on you. I don't know how I'm going to build the mothership yet. I'm just going to start building and we're going to see what happens. I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of mistakes and it's not going to be the most efficient thing, but uh, let's just let's just do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I have a basic design here that I'm thinking about using for the mothership. It's not big or anything. It's not like super massive or whatever because um, I want it to be relatively compact because we're going to be building out with mini ships, like mini, mini ships. But I just kind of want to see how this thing performs in general. Uh, this is my first time really trying to design a ship for offense rather than just for pure experimental silliness. So uh, we have some decently protected uh, or rather walled in ion beams here that are going to be our straight firing beams. We've got some cannons over here and then the lesser kind of uh, stuff on the sides over here. I just realized I don't have any shields, which... Uh, you know what, whatever. Uh, our mini ships are gonna be our starting shields at least. <laughs> 
I think that's pretty much all we need other than I, I don't have any missiles on it. I don't like missiles because they tend to do a lot of friendly fire, and especially with this kind of ship, which is going to have mini ships all around it. I just figured that wouldn't be a good idea. So uh, let's just, I'm just going to pit one, this ship up against itself, and I just want to see how it operates first, and then we'll start adding the mini ships onto it. All right, well, here they go. They're starting off with ion beams. Obviously, let's move them in a little bit closer to see what happens when they move. Uh, oh, this one already got that ion beam taken out. Oh, ooh. Now that we're getting closer, things are getting a little bit more interesting. A lot of fire going on. Oh, they broke through there pretty quickly. Oh, I don't have any protection behind this. That's, uh, that's good to know. I don't think I can either. Because of those, uh, thrusters. Alright, well, at least it's, it seems to be pretty chain reaction proof. Here, turn a little bit more. Oh, actually, that's not that great. There we go. Now you can get right through that center one there. Yeah, right into the reactor core. Let's see what happens with the- Oh! That was actually unexpected. I didn't think that the explosion from that reactor core would reach that reactor core. But I guess it does. Alright, well, I'm pretty cool with that. Man, I love those sound effects. Listen to the- Listen to how deep that is. That is great. Alright, well I actually like that it has like a kill zone because it's just satisfying to me when you get that- When you get to that point and then it just explodes outright. Alright, so now let's just uh, let's just add the rest of the ships on here. If I do that, then I'll be able to add an extra layer of armor right there. That way it won't be so quick to get into there. Okay, so now it's time to add some structure. And by structure, I mean the stuff. All right, so this is where it gets interesting because now I'm actually going to start blocking most of the gunfire so that it's going to be revealed as the ship takes damage. Actually, what I just realized is before I actually start putting the structure on here, I need to make the mini ship. So let's try to make like one of the smallest ships I can that actually has some firepower and uh, available energy and stuff, and then see, then we'll, then we just can duplicate it to attach it all around. All right, here we go. So this is actually a lot bigger than I meant it to be, but uh, I think it'll be a, a pretty good, a pretty good mini ship to have. I mean, it's got 120. Oh no, that's 122 total. Yeah, I forgot because I I can't build this separately and then paste it into the blueprint because it pastes it as a separate ship. So in order to be able to copy and paste it onto this ship here, I have to build it within the blueprint, which means I can't test it individually right now. But it should be okay. I mean, it's got. It's, it's got a forward thrust, it's got some sideways thrust, so it should be able to maneuver all right. Um, you know what it doesn't have is some um, backwards thrust, which actually I can put right here. There we go. That's better. All right, so now I just have to uh, place it on the ship. This is going to be interesting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. So this is the ship. So uh, essentially, it's a pyramid of... Uh, craziness. We've got five mini ships that are pretty much just a wall of fire that are going to be in front of it, but as soon as enough of these structures get broken, these individual ships can separate from the main ship, revealing the ion beams and things like that. So I'm curious if that's actually going to work. I mean, I think it's probably just, this is just a ridiculous idea and it's going to be completely impractical, or maybe I just didn't build it well enough, which is also a good chance, but, uh, First thing I'm going to do is set up this ship against, I guess, itself, and then just see what happens, and then I'm just going to go through random ships in the ship library and see what happens with those ships. Alright, here we go. We're going to have this ship attack this ship. We're just going to see what happens. I'm going to follow this ship as our main ship here, and see what the damage is going to be. How is the fighting going to be? Alright. Here we go. Oh, it is starting for sure. Oh, that ship is free now. So now I can freely control this ship however I want. I can move that over there. This one I can move over here, I think. Oh, wait. Are they trying to move together? What is going on here? I think are they are they trying to move together? Why did that ship do that? All right. You 
Whoa. I think there's some weird glitchiness going on or something. I don't know if these ships are moving as separate units or not. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. What about this ship? If I move that one here... There we go. Oh, wait. This is weird. I want this ship as a whole to turn. There we are. Alright, well, having that first ship get, get blown up... Oh, there we go. Now this ship is on its own. I can have this one attack that ship. Okay, this is really hard to keep track of. Probably mostly because I'm not really used to it. I should have colored them different colors because I don't know who's on whose side anymore. I want to try this again and see if I can get a little bit of a better idea of what's going on here and follow along. Maybe I should do it in like slow motion or something. Alright, so let's try this again and this time I'm going to make them different colors so I don't lose track as easily. Alright, there we go. Now we have red versus blue. So I'm going to have blue here is going to go up against- actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put them on Barbarian. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put them on AI. Let's put them on normal AI here. And we're just gonna have them fight each other where I don't have any control. I wanna see what- I wanna see what they do. Alright, here we go. What- What are they doing? Are they- are they avoiding each other? Oh, I probably have to put them on- yep. Yeah, barbarian. There we go. There we go. Now I think they're about to fight each other. Wait, this one should also be barbarian. Do barbarians fight each other? I mean, they should. What's going on here? Come on. Yeah, you attack him. You attack him. There we go. What? What? You're fighting the debris, really? I want you to fight each other. Okay, there we go. Now they're now they're locked in battle. All right. All right. Is there a way for me to deselect them? I don't know if I can deselect them or not. Oh, they're just ramming each other. What is that? All right. Oh, that ship is separated. Oh, it's shooting its own ship. Oh, what? I just I think I just realized if I set them to barbarian, once one ship separates, they actually it attacks itself. They don't see it as their own unit anymore. That is an unexpected result. I've never used the AI before, so this is interesting. All right, we're going to have to set them as not barbarian then because barbarians are barbaric. Yeah, look, these ships just take a mind of their own and they just attack anybody. They're attacking- he's attacking their own mothership. This is- that is- that is terrible loyalty. Terrible loyalty. Whoa, I just realized that- oop, uh, this guy- some of his cores exploded, but it didn't do a chain reaction throughout the entire, uh, middle. Oh, that one just did. He's gone now. Wow, it actually looks like- it looks like the red definitely won, despite them all being against each other. But it was down to- the mother ships got destroyed, it was down to the mini ships. Alright, so, uh, let's try something like that again, but this time, let's not put them on Barbarian, because apparently Barbarian is a very bad idea. Okay, here we go, so now they're on normal player AI. And I hope that it's gonna maintain that when the ships break off. So we're gonna send them after each other here. Whoops, there we go. Wait, why is he running away? Can I not have them attack each other? It's very confusing with the AI. I've never used the AI before, so bear with me. I'm learning how it works, and at the same time, I'm not learning how it works. It's not working the way I expect it to. What are they doing? Attack! Oh, oh, is it gonna happen? Alright, now they're attacking. Let's zoom in here. There we go. Okay, now let's see what happens when a ship breaks off. Alright, that ship is now broken off. Are they on the same team now? It looks like... It looks like they might be on the same team, but with the front ship breaking off, the ion beams are now in action. Yet, yeah, this ship is taken off over here, that ship's taken off over here. Uh, we still got three ships attached to the, each one of them. It's kind of an even match right now. These two mini ships are going on against each other. Oh, that one just owned that ship, so that ship looks like it's done. Uh, looks like the blue is now definitely losing. Pretty sure the blue is losing. The red still has three ships attached to it, and its iron beams are exposed. There's so many things going on right now. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we'll just, we'll just let them do what they're doing. Alright, it looks like the red still has three mini ships just open and attacking. 
The blue has one mini ship attached and it's mostly gone. That thing is done. This thing doesn't even have any weapons anymore. That thing is just a floating piece of junk. Oh, we just got into the core of the blue ship. This is actually a really cool. Look at these. They're swarming. The mini ships are just swarming. We have four. Oh, this one is still. Oh, it's going to get detached now, is it? No, it's still attached. This is awesome though, it's working, it's- they're eating it from behind, they totally just flanked the ship. And now that ship is- is detached and is flanking from behind too. That was amazing. See, that is exactly what the ship is supposed to do. It, once the mini ships get detached, they flank it, and that is- that seems like the winning strategy right there, which I think is, uh, probably why the red ship won. It's almost interesting because if the- all of those ships got detached, which means the blue ship damaged the structures more, but that's like the- that's gonna make you lose if you do more damage to the structure. Alright, well look at this. They're all just like, they're going around, finding little pieces all individually. It's like a little squadron now, following the mothership. Like a little- a, b a bunch of little ducklings following the mother. That's- it's kinda cute. After they've just completely murdered an entire space colony of people, pretty much. But, uh, let's ignore that. Okay, now let's pit it up against, like, a normal ship in the ship library and see how that works. Alright, well, I'm assuming that my ship isn't very well designed for battle as far as, uh, efficiency and it just overall effectiveness goes. So, I don't know how well it's gonna do against most of these ships, because these are probably some people who have really dedicated some time to this game. But we're gonna start off with a little bit smaller, we're gonna get bigger. I hope at least it can beat this ship, I really don't know what to expect. But, uh... We're gonna put this thing in here and see what happens. Alright, I have set them to attack each other. Here we go, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, alright, this one's turning in. Oh, he's already starting the fire. This one's got the beat on him. This one has totally got the beat on him. Alright, how are these ships gonna do? Seems to be doing pretty well. I mean, the ion beams cannot fire yet, so we haven't even gotten to that stage of the battle. We're still waiting for some of the structures to get broken. Oh, it looks like this ship is now detached, but it is stuck inside the structures. It's not being- it's not able to actually leave and expose the ion beams. One ion beam is exposed because it got offset. Oh, we are just totally demolishing this ship, apparently. Alright, maybe I underestimated the power of my ship, or maybe I overestimated the power of this ship. I mean, it was pretty small compared to this one but it is doing really, really well against this ship. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna need a bigger ship. All right, here we go. This one is a little bit bigger, has a lot more weaponry. Actually, I don't even, I just realized it's facing the wrong way. All right, so this might be more of a challenge because there is a lot of cannons and a lot of shields on this thing, but I do have some electron, uh, whatever these lasers or whatever they're called to uh, fight the ships, electro bolts to fight the, the shields. I have some on the mothership as well, and I- uh, does this thing have, uh, missiles? I don't know if this thing has any missiles, I'm not seeing any missile launchers. Okay, we should be okay against missiles, but just in case, I do have some point defense, I think, on each of these mini ships, and a little bit on the mothership as well. Alright, here we go, uh, they are set to AI, we're gonna let the battle happen, and see what- see what happens. Whoop, let's not have it on super fast, let's have it on normal speed, how about that? There we go. All right, now this might be more of a challenge. We'll see what happens. All right, it looks like all the ships are still attached. So it's not, and we've already eaten through, holy cow, we've already eaten through most of those. Oh, one of the ships just got destroyed suddenly, but now this ship is done. What is this ship doing? This ship is just on its own. He's moving out of the way of the ion beams now, though. There we go. All right, there we go. The ion beams are now just shooting. Oh, this guy's running away. Why is he running away? He's out of power? He's out of everything. This guy has nothing left, pretty much. And does this guy have anything left? No, this guy is in damage control. Oh, I just realized. I didn't put any fire extinguishers on the small ship. I did put fire extinguishers on the mother ship, though. Okay, this thing's doing better than, I'm, than I've expected. Um, I'm going to leave the fire extinguishers off the small ships for now, because I don't think it's a huge issue. I feel like the small ships, if there's going to be fires, they're going to get taken out before the fires can get taken out anyway. I'm going to, I'm just going to stop looking for medium-sized ships. Let's just go for one that I think is going to really, 
really pack a punch and see how it does against it. All right, we're gonna go for this hammerhead here because this thing looks really cool and it looks like it's loaded with some defense, some uh, some shielding, a lot of cannons. Does this thing have it? Oh, it's got some missile power as well. So we're gonna have to be using our point defense. Uh, I might actually try to find some spots for some fire extinguishers in our mini ships. I'm not sure though. But you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it like normal and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Hammerhead versus the mothership. Let's see how this goes. I think this might be the losing battle for the mothership. That thing's got a lot of defense and firepower. Oh, there go the missiles. That's probably gonna be it, is those missiles. Oh, but we have really put a dent in the hammerhead's head. I'm really surprised at how quickly this thing eats through without even the ion beams having access yet. It does surprise me. What is going on now? This is really crazy. It's like, it's turning away now. It's trying, oh, well, I guess it's using its other weapons. Oh, we got one ship, oh, he's down. We got two ships off. I really need to get some fire extinguishers on those things. That one's done because of the fire. Now we got the ion beams have been unlocked. You've just reached, you've just reached the final form of this mothership. Almost, almost, almost the final form. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we might actually stand a chance to win this one too, but I don't know, he still has a lot of weapons left, it seems like, and this thing is definitely losing a lot of its mass. Oh, we just, we decapitated it! We just decapitated the hammerhead! That was actually pretty crazy. But the head is still on its own, it is still firing. Oh, we've just switched targets, I think this has been neutralized. The body has been neutralized. Yep, there is no more firepower on the body, it looks like. Wow. This is getting insane. I think, I think we've won though. I don't think there's anything left. I don't think there's anything left that's really particularly threatening. You know what, I think what I haven't been doing, I haven't been looking at prices. Maybe I should make sure that the prices of the ships are comparable to mine. Because if my ship is costing uh, 1.2 million, and I'm fighting ships that cost half that, even though they look big, then maybe that's the issue. Oh. Well, the hammerhead is just about the same costs. Oh, how about this? Ragnarok is 1.9 million. And this actually looks crazy. What what is this? This is this is a weirder shape thing I've ever seen. Look at all the ion beams and shields. All right, 1.9 million versus my 1.2 million. Who do you think is gonna win? I think this might be actually finally my match. But I'm going to add some fire extinguishers into those ships because I feel like that's necessary. All right, there we go. I've added four fire extinguishers into each ship. We're gonna pit these ships against each other. Take your bets now. I think this is the first time I'm actually hooking up a ship that costs more than my ship in a battle. Here we go. We're off to a grueling start. The first shots have been fired. It is not my ship. Oh boy, he's got a lot of missiles as well. Missiles are definitely intimidating, to say the least. Oh, that sh- oh, look at all those ion beams. That's way too many ion beams. We are done. That is way too many ion beams. Oh, my ship is just- it's running away. It doesn't know what to do. Yep, we are definitely losing this one. We are definitely losing this one. These ships are- they're, they're just floating away into nothingness. We've got too many ships. Too many ships still in the action here. And the mothership is trying to eat through the- Oh, we just did a big, big explosion. Now he's got mini ships. <laughs> we separated him from the rest of his body. So now he's got mini ships. I don't even think he was supposed to be that way, but... Uh, this is definitely an interesting development. I think I don't have any more mini ships left. Yeah, so it's just the mothership and he's only got one ion beam. Oh, there goes the other ion beam. We're done. We are done. Oh, there we go. All right, so uh, 1.9 million is a little bit too much for my ship to handle.
All right, I want to see. I have not seen this ship in action yet. The Crescent Wrath. It's 2.1 million, so definitely going to be uh, way too much for my ship to handle. And it looks like it's got a lot of missiles, and it's got a lot... Or actually, only four ion beams here. I think there's only four ion beams. So let's actually pit these ships up against each other and see uh, how fast this one demolishes my ship. So this ship costs about a million more than my ship, so I'm definitely expecting a pretty quick uh, one-sided fight here. We're going to see how it rolls, how it turns out. Man, look how big that thing is compared to mine. I love the shape of it, too. It looks really, really cool. All right, here it goes. Oh, we just got demolished with that initial onslaught of missiles. But it, it, it exposed our ion beams pretty quick, and we actually already ate through all of his ion beams before he got to go to our mothership, so that was an interesting development. But he has a lot more weapons still in action. This ship is over here. This ship should... I want that ship to flank, but this ship's doing an okay job. Oh, never mind. He's done. That ship is no longer... no longer really helping us out that much. But it's interesting, this guy's uh, turning in different directions, trying to get more out of his other weaponry here. Uh, looks like our mothership is still in action. It's got three out of the five ion beams left. But this guy has so much armor. To get to these reactor cores here is going to take too much time, I think. He's going to eat through us before we can do that. But we still actually... Oh, th that ship is actually still in action. Oh, now he's not. He's gone now. And this ship is about to be gone, too. I don't think he has any fire extinguishers left. They've been destroyed. But I gotta admit, I've made a bigger dent in this thing than I really expected to make. I still have three ion beams left. I wonder how much more damage I'll be able to do. And there's still one of my, uh, one of my little ships here. One of my mini ships is still in action. Not for long, though, I don't think. I'm still eating through. We have two ion beams. We're down to two. It's really interesting to see this stuff happen. One ion beam now. Oh! One well-placed missile just totally outdid that. All right, I got to admit, I did a lot more, I ate a lot more of this ship than I thought I was going to get through. So that was pretty cool to see. I want to thank you, Dylan, for suggesting it for sure. Oh, the missiles are just devouring my ship here. Leave some more ideas in the comments below if you want to see some more creative experiments. I'm thinking about maybe doing, trying a little bit of the, uh, the bounty hunter mode. I mean, I don't really know if that'll be interesting for you guys. I'll probably be really bad at it, to be honest. Uh, I haven't spent too much time on ship efficiency or effectiveness. I just mostly like to do ridiculous ideas like this. And as you can see, sometimes I just get completely owned and destroyed. But I think it did pretty well. It held up pretty well against things around its same price category. So leave a like if you liked the video. Let me know what you want to see in future episodes. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.